Hi, everybody. Stacy Louise Christopher here. I'm here tonight with Nemo Ashong. We have uh, set up sort of a series of experimental conversations. We are colleagues, we are both coaches, and this is a continuation of one. This one is about acknowledging and receiving, and we decided to take it live on Facebook to make it even uh, up the ante more, make it more interesting. And while we're talking, we're gonna share out what we're doing to various places. So if you can just hang with us for a second. And let's see. Okay, there we are, Nemo. And I'm gonna make this public. Okay, so you should see this now and be able to share it to your page. Are you able to see it from your end? I am, and I will do that. Okay. I will share this now, all right? Let me go so, ahead and just do that one second. And for uh, anybody who's just joining us now, um, I'll repeat what I just said. Um, Nemo and I have been in a, a series of experimental coaching conversations. We are both coaches, we are colleagues, and um, this is just a continuation in that process. And tonight's conversation is about acknowledging and receiving. And um, we're gonna play with that, see how it goes. We thought we would take it here to Facebook. Um, so you all can kind of join in with us um, to kind of up the ante and see how that goes. So um, we scheduled this conversation probably about a month ago, I'm gonna say, is that right, Nemo? Yeah, I think it was at sometime in July. Yeah. Yeah. So. And um, so at that time, I had no idea that it was your birthday today. So that's an awesome surprise for me. I love doing this on your birthday because uh, Nemo is the person who's going to receive the acknowledgement. Um, I have written a list of things about Nemo that I really deeply appreciate about him. We haven't known each other all that long, but the interaction that we've had through our coaching conversations has been in depth. So I feel like I've gotten um, really interesting and close up view of, of Nemo. Hey, Allie, how are you? Thanks for joining. So you ready? To, do you have anything you want to say first, Nemo, before we get started? Yeah, I, I wanted to say thank you, right? I, I'm like, and we were kind of talking about this a little bit earlier, but I want to say thank you for uh, creating the opportunity for this year. Um, I think that receiving is something that I myself am practicing and uh, trying to practice it on different levels to understand how can I receive more um, and really allow my nervous system to actually take in what's taking place as opposed to just like letting it bounce off. So mm -hmm. this is yeah. this is it's wonderful. I, I I said this earlier, but I really trust you as well. And I feel like I feel like in this space here we can play and and see see what comes of it. It's a good timing because I'm about to do I'm about to enter HT, I entered this thing called Appreciation August, where I, we look to like celebrate and value the things that make people different. Um and, and I think it's really interesting that you know that all this is coming right now at this time where I'm like, oh. Well, it's it's an opportunity for me to also experience that which I'm asking of others. So, I, before timing. we even get into, yeah, it just it just feels like such a gift. Um, and I and I thank you for initiating this here. Let, let's let's go ahead and play. Yeah, and so just for people watching, um, I'm an intuitive life coach, and Nemo is also a coach. He leads a group called Mavericks Pioneers and Outliers. Um, and do you want to talk a little bit about the group before we get going or? Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll share a little bit there. I'll share a little bit there. So um, the group here is, it consists of, of Mavericks, Pioneers and Outliers. And uh, they're, they're a group of people who typically find themselves as one of the only, one of the first or one of a kind in anything that they do. And they've created a lot of success for themselves, but are now at this place where they're like, well, what's next? Or how can I continue growing? And a lot of us here, when we, when we play here, I, I specifically choose this group of people because it goes beyond authenticity. It goes to a place, group of leaders out there who, if they were able to show up 
as themselves or if they're able to bring more of their message or their mission out into the into the world and do it from a place where they can do it sustainably and successfully then the rest of the world will also be able to grow from it and i think um for me it, it's one of one of the things that is really important is being able to understand what some of your strengths are along the way right. and i think part of part of it comes to if you're not receiving if you're not being, if you're not able to actually take in when someone's sharing what what a strength is for you, then you may you yourself may not know. Yeah. But I don't. And, yeah. And thank you for you know being willing to model it. I think I didn't know that you were going into um, a, a month of receiving and recognition. Um, so I, that speaks to who you are, willing to kind of like model this before you're fully in it. Um, so yeah, I have a list of. 10 different things. The rules are you're, you are um, able to say stop at any point. Um, I've been on the receiving end at a birthday party one time where everybody went around the table and said what they appreciated about me. It got uncomfortable. So I get that. And um, hey, Brittany, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah. Okay. So the first thing, Nemo, um, this is what I wrote is Nemo is disarming. He, I've witnessed him um, in conversation several times and have heard someone respond with, oh, wow, that isn't anything I thought you were just about to ask me. And I think that it's your ability to think outside the box, to see something from a unique angle that isn't a skill as much as a part of really who you are at your core. And so that that element of always approaching something from a unique angle is very distinctly you. Thank you. That feels amazing to hear. It really, really does. Um, I want to respond back to this, but I think I need to receive a little bit more if, that, if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> the next one is Nemo's smile is utterly contagious and sometimes a coping mechanism that he's expertly learned to use as a way to instantly make others feel comfortable and at ease, which is something that you often do. You, you can just put somebody at ease. I've seen it happen with myself and others so quickly and that's a true talent. Yeah, I appreciate that. And there's there's something here as you say this here that um, I was thinking about. I'm like, oh, why wasn't I able to respond back to that first one right away? Um, and I think I think it's there's something very uh, revealing in that. Like it felt really good to hear. And there's another part that's like, oh no, <laughs> like she knows she knows that I'm disarming. <laughs> you know, like she knows. Um, and and I think that there's something about it that that couples with this last one here that you're giving me space to see the positive in it. And it's not that I didn't know it there, but to really just be able to understand like, oh, wait, it's not just a thing that you do that's kind of like silently on the side and you can't help doing it, but there's actually benefit in it. There's mm -hmm. actually like, this is valuable to it's the first thing that, that came to mind, the first thing you decided to share with me. And I think that that's something that, um, and it's easy for me to lose because it's it's so close to me. You know, I'm, I'm just curious about different things. I see things from a different perspective. Um, and so hearing that, and then hearing that also just juxtaposed with right afterwards around the, the ease there and being able to make people feel comfortable. I think that is, it doesn't surprise me because I like there's an element of me that has been looking to create comfort for people or to create places where they can be safe and brave at the same time. Like I know that the smile is a, is a thing, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. actually legitimately ha happy right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, I think hearing the two of them together really like really is allowing me to receive this in a way where I don't have to like reject it back um, and instead be able to see like, wait, it's not just that it's there but it actually creates, could create even more safety. It could create even more ease. It could create even more comfort for people. And more and connection. And more connection, thank mm -hmm. you. 
And, you know, I think all of us have the potential to take those things that are brilliant about us and weaponize them against ourselves. And usually we've been supported to in some fashion or another throughout our lives that whatever is like the most brilliant, sweetest, wonderful thing about us has sometimes gotten turned around and used against us. And so I think part of reflection and an acknowledging work is so valuable is that we can actually have a moment to take a breath and see it for all that it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, 100% agree. I, I really appreciate you giving me this opportunity. You ready for the next one? I am. Okay. So, um, Nemo is beautifully and intriguingly complex. He is one of the rare beings who excels in so many ways with a genius mind that is ever creating in the, um, in infinite connections in thought to people, in systems, and in culture. Do you want me to read that again? Yeah, do you mind? Yeah, no, not at all. I want, yeah. So Nemo is beautifully and intriguingly complex. He is one of those rare beings who excels in something so many ways with a genius mind that is ever creating infinite connections in thought to people in systems and in culture this feels really complete right there and i is that hard to hear at all the first time yes and i I'll, i have to presence this right now which is like right when you started this one here this huge like imposter like arrogance, cockiness thing came up where it's like, Nemo, who are you to be like sitting here receiving like in this way, receiving publicly, like what, like that went in my mind, hardcore. And I'm glad that you picked up like that, that it needed to be repeated, you know, because I was like, I, I can sit here and smile and, or sit here and, and receive, but like what's really happening in the back of my mind is also, it's also just still really active. Right. So that one that one felt it felt difficult to receive not just because of the words that were there but it was like i just became very aware of what receiving really meant mm -hmm. and it's so easy for us to to like slip out of presence right when we're being acknowledged and when we're being seen there's uh there can be this discomfort where yeah you know what it is it's like it's like as you're saying that there's this element of like well who else is seeing me who's seeing me being seen right now you know <laughs> uh -huh. who's seeing me being seen and how am i taking that in and um it, there's, there's this element that's that's really interesting about it. it's a little intriguing to me that it's like that the act of being seen being seen is um well it's it's not it's not necessarily easy i don't think it's difficult but i don't think it's it's easy for me so i know i mean it's really actually like being in a hot seat you know to receive so much and hear so many good things and compliments and all of that stuff. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. this is when I left okay. my, um, yeah, you know, there's something that, that's coming to mind right now. Like I'm feeling this, oh. when I left my last place of employment in, in mm -hmm. New York, the, like the team came together and made a, made a video wow. and it shared some of the things that they really uh, were gonna miss about me and that, that they really loved about me there. And, and it's honestly, I still watch that video. It's 15 minutes, I just watch it. Whenever, whenever I'm like, I'm down to myself, I think I actually need to go back and watch it again, you yeah. know, to, to go in and just like, wait a minute, this is what you do. This is who you are. And this is how, like, this is the value that you may not even know that you're bringing because yes. you're just you, you're just living life. Like these are the things that really matter. Mm -hmm. And so like, when you say this here, I, I know I can actually literally, I can feel an expansion within my chest. Mm -hmm. um i can feel my my nervous system being like okay it's like it's time to, to start to really start integrating this here because no matter what else you think you're doing out there this is this is, this is how people experience you and this is how stacy's experiencing you and i appreciate yeah that. and i feel like i'm i'm not just uniquely speaking for myself and it's part of the work that i do actually is kind of perceiving that energy around you so um, 
it made me what something you said made me think of a, another coaching friend of mine, uh, Tanya Brian Fox, and she we were just having a conversation about the importance of having a box of awesome that you can open up and in there have things to remind you of your awesomeness. So that video that you have is in your awesome box. Yes. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for joining us. We're here with Nemo Ashong and we're having a experimental coaching conversation, part of a series of what we've been doing. Nemo and I are colleagues. Um, we're taking this one live on Facebook for the fun of it. It's Nemo's birthday today, and he's the one receiving a bunch of acknowledgments that I have that I wanted to share with him. And he's being a great sport about it. Um, if you're ready, Nemo, we will move on to the next one. Yes, please. Have your permission. <clears throat> Nemo's courageous vulnerability is not only a strength, but a model for others to witness how speaking and having a fear or insecurity serves as a powerful way for people to transform. And so if you need clarification about that, it's that you're willing, just like tonight and what we're doing here, you're willing to have your process and be vulnerable in that, that there's a greater good that somebody else out there might be growing and stretching and learning because of it. I can feel that. I can feel like the tears starting to, to well up there. And I'm, and I'm good with that. Thank you. Nemo is, this word courageous came up a lot, I guess, as I was writing. So that's interesting. This is like fourth time or so that I'm mentioning it. Nemo is courageous in very physical ways as well. He moves to foreign countries and he jumps out of planes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that is. Thank you for recognizing that because that's not something I give myself credit for. That's something I, that, that, that I acknowledge about myself often. I think it was one of the first times you came on my radar is actually when you were jumping out of the plane in Australia, when you were on holiday there. Yeah. And, and you know, I really have to like, have to give like, as I'm receiving, like, I, like, I also know what's really fun is I have a really great partner who in, like initiates these kinds of things. And I, and like, I'm like, I'm like, yes, I'm a yes to these things. Mm -hmm. I'm a yes to it. So I feel, I feel like my role in it is, is allowing myself to be a yes to these, you mm -hmm. know, and I, and cause I'm trying, what I want to make sure is I'm still receiving this without deflecting. And I also know that like, I have partners in creating this here, Yes, you know, um, and I want, I want to acknowledge and still, still hold true to my, to the role that I play uh -huh. in this all here. Um, but I think it's definitely appropriate acknowledging your wife in this process and your partner in you know, she's she went jumping out of a plane with you and she moved to Singapore with you. And both of them were her ideas. You know, I would I would just I would be in New York right now, but she's like, hey, I think this would be fun. And I was like, no, it won't. And then uh -huh. the <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready for the next one? In it. Yes, I am. Okay. Nemo is a leader who recognizes the most powerful form of inspiration comes from creating space for people to be exactly who they are. This one I have a request on. This is something I feel like I really, really need to like hear and own. Can I make a request of you to repeat that one? Yeah. Nemo is a leader who recognizes the most powerful form of inspiration comes from creating space for people to be exactly who they are.
and I definitely like the first time that we talked, the first conversation we had definitely felt that, you know, like I felt honored exactly who I was. And that's not something that's normal when you first meet somebody. That's definitely a gift of yours. I know that I'm quiet right now and it's because it's like, it's just, it's so important to me what you just said. And I'm trying to allow like some space to let it come in because that is, it's almost like, it's like, it feels like wonderful food for my soul. All right. Like, and mm -hmm. I'm like someone had mentioned soul food before and I had kind of been disparaged around. It's like, we're dismissive. I was like, oh, I don't want to just be soul food for people. Mm -hmm. And now that I like, like now that I'm experiencing, I'm like, oh, it's way more than what it might seem. Mm -hmm. It's not a small thing at all. It's nope. a nourishment that's going to get like, like you're literally giving me energy to take on whatever is coming next right now. I can feel my, like my soul, my spirit, my energy, my person, like my capacity, just like growing and filling with this here. Because these are the things that like they're in the back of my mind where I'm like, these are my intentions, whether it's conscious or subconscious. But is it valuable? Does anyone even notice it? Is it even important? So on and so forth. The synchronicity is crazy because when you were going through, well, before we got on this call and when you were going through uh, the process that you've had over the past month, I was like, dude, just wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> as an extra birthday, as an extra birthday gift, I will be writing all these down and sending them to you. Thank you. So you can put them in your awesome box. I am like, I'm looking at this here and I literally just got done a conversation with someone who was like, you should like have something to keep going back to on all the days, the ups and the downs, you know, and then this. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to receive this gift here. Thank you for like, yeah, I, I feel honored through this year and I'm greatly appreciative of you. And that's something that has been really interesting recently. I, I found that um, people talk about love. They're like, you should go love on your on your clients, go love on people, love on love on people in your world, your tribe, and so on and so forth, right? Love on those who don't who don't want love right now or who are pushing away like so so much. And I found myself like just not connecting. I'm like, I don't know what you mean by by this love. Like I just don't get it. And I had a really good conversation with uh Rick Ramsey and she helped she brought up this concept of dynamic love. And it was, it was like, all of a sudden it, it dawned on me. I was like, oh, appreciation, gratitude is the way that I experience and share that out in the world. That's, that's what love looks like and feels like to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm appreciative of you right now. Likewise. So hi, Ashton. Thanks for joining us. Um, just to refresh, this is Nemo Ashong and he and I are participating in a um, collection of experimental coaching conversations. We are colleagues and we've had uh, most of these, um, all of them offline, meaning not live on Facebook. We thought we would take this one live just for the fun of it. And um, I'm sharing my appreciation and my acknowledgement of Nemo. It's his birthday today by happenstance or not by sheer perfect design and um and yeah so that's what we're doing i'm moving on to let's see number eight here comes number eight nemo okay. nemo takes his early life wounds and magically has transformed them into his deepest strengths Yeah, I think I'm receiving that there. And I think I think this is the part that's been, been kind of fun for me throughout this journey recently, where I'm like, it's it's that magical transformation. And and part of it is like I wanna say thank you to this one. I just wanna say thank you because I, I can feel myself wanting to speak around it 
here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's, I don't want it to get in the way of the actual receiving. So I'm going to yeah. say thank you to this one. You're welcome. Feeling like you need to stop at all? Or are you good to keep going? Let me check in. Yeah. I'll be honest, this feels great. And okay. it's, it's hard for me to say, like, but it feels great. It feels like it feels challenging. Um, it feels that it's pulling me into a level of presence that that like I that, that I hadn't really expected to have to, like be in. Yeah, no, I, I recognize this as a huge, huge gift and synchronicity and it, like the synchronicity of it all is just more more than than you would know. And it's just it's it's in this place right now where I'm questioning so much of myself and where where things are going. I'm stepping into my next level within the business and my next levels of showing up in the world and creating wealth for myself and with others that like all these thought things are coming up and it's just so, it's one of the, it's, it's the greatest gift is to, to have this. And I, I think on the other side of it here, I said, I find that I experience love as like through uh, appreciation and I'm like, and I'm realizing now, like in this moment, how much you're, you're bringing back to me just by sharing this here. So I just, I'm ready. I'm ready. <clears throat> what, what if you said something that reminded me of something? Oh, um, and that, you know, your next level and bringing in support and expanding in those ways. Um, this is kind of perfect in that perspective as well because that's about receiving and uh -huh. being supported. You, you know, it's like what's going on for me right now is like, I'm, I'm seeing how like there's some elements in my, in, just in my business where I really want to create more room to receive. And um, what's, what's going on is like the elements of like case studies, testimonials, things that I'm doing with my clients and things like that. Um, where I'm like, oh, in my attempt to just keep giving and giving and giving and being there, I haven't given them pathways for for them to give back for and for me to receive, and to have that like like virtuous back and forth. And I can and I can see how like wow, what's coming up for me is like for years, for a long time, I've been able to like sustain myself on just my own belief, my own faith, and my own passion. That like there's mm -hmm. like a purpose that I'm being called to, mm -hmm. and just but I, but I hadn't been doing the other part of the work of asking and receiving the impact along the way mm -hmm. and now i'm seeing it now i'm seeing like how it nourishes me but also nourishes my movement my like mm -hmm. like this is this is important it's not it's not even just nice it's like there's there's an importance to all this here. yeah like it's building scaffolding or it's reinforcing the scaffolding that's there and i should point out too that this is really giving me a lot, you know, and there was something, an experience that I went through um, family tragedy about 13 years ago, where 15 years ago, where I had to be in a position of receiving. There was just no way around it. And that even in the face of tragedy, it was, it was uncomfortable at first to receive. And then the beauty of it just kind of cracked open. And I and I also got, not only was it like a beautiful experience for me, but for the people that wanted to give, that's what they were in, in pain as well. And being able to give to me and our family during that time was hugely beneficial for, for them. And so this isn't one of those things where it's coming out of pain or desperation or need, but for me to give you these things especially on your birthday i don't know why that just makes it more special is like that makes me feel good too you know so it's this it's this loop yeah yeah i'm aware of something i'm becoming aware of something right now as we're talking i don't experience the experience this as you being a cheerleader for me you know, nope. I think, I think that's one of the things about this that makes this so important, you know, like, yes, these things are going on through my own mind and I was kind of questioning some things here, but, and, but you're not here to save me. This is something we okay. had on the book from like a month ago, you yep. know, and it's like synchronicity is like, this is the right time for you to receive it. But like, mm -hmm. you're meeting here as a champion of me and not a cheerleader of me. I, yeah. and I, and I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing that 
in this conversation. And I want to thank you for that. Welcome. Thank you. It's really powerful. It is really powerful to receive from this place here. And, and for you to give to me from that place, like I'm just like, like, I can feel the power in it. So thank you. Yeah. And then, you know, from my perspective, there is no saving. That's a disservice, right? There's just presence and um, allowing somebody to step into their own and have their own process and creating space for that. Yeah. So let's see. Number nine, ready? I am ready. <clears throat> Nemo has a great thirst for experiences that are edgy, thought provoking, fear provoking, unnerving even, as he knows these places are often where some of his greatest learning occurs and where he can effectively translate the ability for change and transformation to others seeking the same. My whole body's lighting up. I can feel my, like it's tingling all down the right side of my body right now. And my response to this is a, is a physical one. I can phys physically feel this one here because it's like, It's just the truth. It's my truth that I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I feel like I'm really being seen. I feel like I'm really being seen. And I think that the thing about it that is getting me as well is that that's been the journey. Like that's been what I've been, that's what I've been craving. That's what I've been wanting. You know, like I can almost like, it's like, like I've been wanting to be seen. And in a sense here, it's like, I can still feel my body's just like pulsing, by the way, just like pulsing up and down. Um, in the sense here, it's like, oh, it makes perfect, like it's so perfectly timed as I go on to my next level to also, to also receive this right now, where it's like, you've been doing the work. Let's acknowledge that. Let's celebrate the work that you've been doing, the things that you've been like, the way that you've chosen to show up, the way you've chosen to show up for other people, the things that you've decided to do versus not do, the thing that you decided to put your energy into, your time, your in, like where you're investing yourself, it's working. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is. So that's something that's, I, I think is really important, especially as I'm taking this from like the, the one person element and bringing it out even further. This timing is just, Thank you. And I think, what was I going to say about that? Um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. It's just... It left. Um, <clears throat> oh, I know what I was going to say. So... Yeah, the irony of that, I had all that written down before we even spoke, before getting on this live. And the process of, you know, should we go live with this? I don't know. This is kind of like, we don't know how it's going to go. Uh, is anybody going to be getting interested? Uh, does it matter? You know, all of that stuff. And I knew that I had this comment written down. So um, that's just proof. That's who you are. That's, that's how you move through the world. That's, you know, just as example tonight, even. Yeah. Okay. I have the last one, and I know that you have to be somewhere. So I want to be respectful of your time. Should we go through this last one? Please. Okay. <clears throat> Nemo is the epitome of illustrating how too much is where the beauty is where the strength is, where true connection is, and how it's necessary to live there in order to fully own, know, and experience one's own true gifts and calling. And I can read that one again if you want. Yeah, I do. I'm going to ask for it if you don't mind. 
I'm laughing at myself because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like that one feels really good to hear. It's yummy. It's like, and I feel that if I like, yeah, I just feel like this is the opportunity for me to really hear it, you know? So yes, I, I would, I, I would love to hear that again. Thank you. Nemo is the epitome of illustrating how too much is where the beauty is, where the strength is, where true connection is, and how it's necessary to live there in order to truly own, know, and experience one's own true gifts and calling. Yeah, buddy, that just feels great. <laughs> that's like I can't like. I'm what like, was last month was too much. Too much. There was uh, too much May. Too much. Too May. much May. Like, it was May. Yeah. yeah. And now, now I try to take on too much Mondays so that I, like I can take on other other challenges, uh -huh. uh, other other ways of growth, but yeah. allowing that space. And too much. Too much May was. That was a, that was a game changer for me. That yeah, and then where cool. that came from, and that 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 comment that kind of uh, somebody made about you being too much, I think maybe off the cuff even type of a comment, um, and that you just dove into that. You said, I'm not going to let this, you know, own me, um, define me, that, that feeling that it brought up, right? You're like, I'm going to get in there with the flashlight and expose it. And um, that's really kind of like at the heart of, of what you do for people. Yeah. And can I ask you, when you say it's at the heart of it, what, what would you say is at the heart of it? Um, the, the, your reaction and your process. So hearing something that is, you know, like I talked about, like, uh, a comment about really our, our true strengths and how that gets weaponized against us, even if in jest, even if, you know, off the cuff. Um, but what's really happening is like our greatest gift is being joked about or taken lightly or not being taken seriously. And your process, which really differs from, differs from what a lot of others maybe would, would go through with that process is to, you know, to retreat or to shut down or to feel shame um, about that is you're like, no, we're not going to have any of that. And matter of fact, I'm going to declare the entire month of May is too much May. And um, I'm going to let everybody witness me in this process. So you know, you now have a blueprint that when somebody attacks your inner gift, your true beauty, your amazing awesomeness, that you're going to have a blueprint on how to turn that, flip the script, and show everybody how that's really your true strength. That's the heart of who you are. That's what I mean by that. You know what I'm experiencing right now? You probably don't because you're not me. Um, <laughs> what I'm experiencing right now is a return to center, uh, like like a core it's it's like through this you help me see my calling my purpose my mission even more clearly than than what than what was going on like i've been doing these things here but when you when you the, the people that ask me they're like what's your process i'm like i don't have a process and yet there is things involved like there's, there've been thing i just feel like i can see myself clearly as I am now. And it's the things and what I think the thing is, it's, it's almost as if it's almost as if there was like a, a mirror in front of me. And the mirror was like cracked or like dirty or smudged like there was like maybe it was like out of the shower and it's like steamy. And you're like looking at yourself in that mirror. And you're like, this is what I look like, like, I'm pretty sure this is me, I can make that out that might be like a muscle that might be like, it's almost like that. 
And then like you just came in and you're like, hey Nemo, you, you do know you're looking at a dirty mirror, right? Like, let me just clean that off for you. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what it feels like, where it's like, it's like, I knew it. That was a muscle. Like I like this is there's just this element of I'm finding I'm finding myself, and this is all happening for me like right now in real time. Like it's like as I'm receiving, I am it's augmenting. As I'm receiving the things that what's coming up for me is these things that I thought I was being a secret agent around or these things that I thought like didn't add value realistically. I'm like, like, I'm like, Oh, like for my movement, do I need to be talking about how can you get more money? How can you do these different things? How can you build your business and all that stuff? And more and more, it feels like it's just like, I, like I create, I create something different for people. I create something different for people and to be able to own that, like, this experience is incredibly important because I'm able to like create experiences for others to explore themselves and to create the space for them to explore themselves in new ways. But it's not always that easy to come back to me, which is why I mm -hmm. choose to do some of the ways that I do it. And for you to have crafted this experience for me to have it, I, I, I want you to know in this moment, the importance of it to me. I also want you to know that I will honor it by bringing it forth into the world. And it's almost like, um, what's the Dolly Parton has this, this quote, it's like, your job is to figure out who you are and then do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, like you've given me more and in, more insight to who I am and, 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 and how people experience me. And the fun part about it all is like, that's out of all the things that I do, the do, 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 do things. Am I doing a Facebook live? Am I here? Am I doing this? Am I inviting people into this? Am I creating revenue? Am I all those do, 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 do. Should I go to this conference? Should I talk like none of those are the things that came up, you know, right. it wasn't like you build a great like funnel, <laughs> you know, like if it's, yeah. it's not, it's the, you are the amazing funnel creator. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you do it, you're able to, it's the be, it's, it's who I'm being and the, and the work that gets done in the being world. Yeah. And if this, if this is my current unique contribution, then I want to lean into that and like contribute as much as I can with it. And I know that I'm like, I will continue to grow and things will go on from there, but the willingness for me to be able to not, ex not just accept, but to embrace it, mm -hmm. you know, to embrace it. I like, I talk about like discover, embrace, First thing is to figure out if it's there. And even if you can see it, like, and there's no longer a blind spot, are you actually willing to embrace it? Mm -hmm. You know? And I think that you're catching your, like what you've done here is to help me like embrace these things differently. And I have to mm -hmm. sit with it and, and be with it and, and, and let it be true. Yeah. And then I'm going to go on and, and like, not like leverage it and do it on purpose, you mm -hmm. know, to, to spread that and have that happen even at, at a larger scale. Yeah. And then appreciate it, like help it grow and help myself also value it too. And for anybody like who's watching this process, this is, this is something that you can do with, with anybody that you, you trust or you feel comfortable with, or, you know, you just kind of want to go out on a limb with and, and see if somebody's willing to participate with you. Um, and to just kind of receive hearing those qualities about yourself. One of the reasons I incorporate the word Venus into some of my my work is that uh, Venus, uh, you know, is a, a goddess that people like are drawn to, right? Um, and the truth is, in as the legend goes, is that Venus says, "I'm actually just holding up a mirror for you to see your own beauty," and that's what people are drawn to is the reflection of, them, of themselves, and they didn't even know. You know, so I thank you for being willing to uh, have this process, for being able to receive it. Not easy to be in the hot seat like that. So you're amazing there. And thank you for that. And thank you for letting me share those things with you. Absolutely. And would you mind if I thank you as well? No, not at all. Go right ahead. I want to thank you and acknowledge you for a creating this space. And there's one thing I, if I don't say it right now, I'm going to, I'm going to forget, I don't want to lose it. 
the way that you choose to acknowledge, the way that you chose to give here, that was masterfully done. Thank you for taking the time to not just give and say like, you're confident or you're courageous, but you took the time to really expound upon what it, what it was, what it is around that nugget that I might, I might be able to see in the dirty mirror. And you added just that level of clarity that allowed it to actually be something where I'm like, I can actually see and receive it. And I think that is like, that's part of what makes me feel like when, when you, I have to thank you on the level that you, that you showed up here for me today and for us to be able to see what is it like to really give appreciation, to really take the time to thought, like when you showed me before we came on here, you're like, I have two pages with this stuff on it. I was like, wow, <laughs> like she was deliberate about this here. Like, I came Hell in yeah. here already. I'm I had received playing. beforehand. Well, like it's like, and and it it, it was interesting because like I just felt like wow, like I'm someone who like someone has wanted to take the time to create this for, you know. So I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for giving me an experience before we even like got started. I want to thank you for also being willing to be that Venus and to to hold up that the mirror for me and that reflection for for me and others there, and for creating these kinds of spaces. Like it, it really says something about you that you like, I, I see you as also a master of creating safety. Um, and, and like, there's like, you have it for yourself and you also extend it to others. And I told you this year, I was like, I was like, look, I, I, I can receive this here, but it would be really edgy for me to like, if we did this just on zoom here, it would just stay with me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if there's, if I'm going to ever play at this next level of like being able to, to like, you know, modeling is a thing I love to do. I just live in it. Is the thing. Yeah. I just want to live my life. I think that's it. I like, I just want to live my life. Is there, I, I hear a Bon Jovi soundtrack somewhere in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's You're just, from that's Jersey. It. Are you a Bon Jovi <laughs> guy? <laughs> I sing, I sing more Bon Jovi out here now. I go to karaoke very often out here. Um, so that comes uh -huh. up quite a bit, you know, but yeah, I, I do want to thank you. I, I think it's, this is a really special space that you've created. And I appreciate you. Let's just uh, check in with a couple of comments before we sign off. Um, Ashton says, happy birthday happy and birthday. Um, loving this. So great. Uh, master of creating safety. So true. Beautifully said. So thank you, Ashton. Thank you everybody who showed up here and Thank you, Nemo. Is it still your birthday or is it your birthday only today for me? Since you're in Singapore, you're it's the 24th. So is the 23rd yes. your birthday? The 23rd is my birthday, yes. So, well, I'm yeah. honored to drag it out. And, yes, indeed. Yeah. Extended <laughs> birthdays, why not, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank All right, you. maybe. Well, thank you. Have thank you for uh, facilitating this. Absolutely. And you'll have a good uh, rest of your day. You too.